Intellectual property refers to creations of the mind such as inventions, literary and artistic works, designs, and symbols, names, and images used in commerce. Intellectual property is protected in law by copyright, patents, and trademarks, which enable people to earn recognition or financial benefit from what they invent or create. The intellectual property system aims to foster an environment in which creativity and innovation can flourish. Let's define the term copyright. Copyright or author's right is a legal term used to describe the rights that creators have over their literary and artistic works. Works covered by copyright range from books, music, paintings, sculpture, and films, to computer programs, databases, advertisements, maps, and technical drawings. Copyright protection extends only to expressions and not to ideas, procedures, methods of operation, or mathematical concepts as such. There are two types of rights under copyright. First, economic rights, which allow the rights owner to derive financial reward from the use of their works by others. Second, moral rights, which protect the non-economic interests of the author. Most copyright laws state that the rights owner has the economic right to authorize or prevent certain uses in relation to a work or to receive remuneration for the use of their work. The economic rights owner of a work can prohibit or authorize its production in various forms, such as printed publication or sound recording, its public performance, such as in a play or musical work, its recording, for example, in the form of compact discs or DVDs, its broadcasting by radio, cable, or satellite, its translation into other languages, and its adaptation such as a novel into a film screenplay. Examples of a widely recognized moral rights include the right to claim authorship of a work and the right to oppose changes to a work that could harm the creator's reputation. In the majority of countries, and according to the Berne Convention, copyright protection is obtained automatically without the need for registration or other formalities. Most countries have a system in place to allow for the voluntary registration of works. Such voluntary registration systems can help solve disputes over ownership or creation, as well as facilitate financial transactions, sales, and the assignment and transfer of rights. In the Philippines, copyright protection for artistic, literary, and derivative works lasts during the lifetime of the author plus 50 years after the author's death. Now let's proceed to patent. A patent is an exclusive right granted for an invention, which is a product or a process that provides a new way of doing something or offers a new technical solution to a problem. To get a patent, technical information about the invention must be disclosed to the public in a patent application. In principle, the patent owner has the exclusive right to prevent or stop others from commercially exploiting the patented invention. In other words, patent protection means that the invention cannot be commercially made, used, distributed, imported, or sold by others without the patent owner's consent. Patents are territorial rights. In general, the exclusive rights are only applicable in the country or region in which a patent has been filed and granted, in accordance with the law of that country or region. The protection is granted for a limited period, generally 20 years from the filing of the application. Let's proceed to trademark. A trademark is a sign capable of distinguishing the goods or services of one enterprise from those of other enterprises. A word or a combination of words, letters, and numerals can perfectly constitute a trademark, but trademarks may also consist of drawings, symbols, three-dimensional features such as the shape and packaging of goods, non-visible signs such as sounds or fragrances, or color shades used as distinguishing features. At the national or regional level, trademark protection can be obtained through registration, by filing an application for registration with a national or regional trademark office and paying the required fees. At the international level, you have two options. Either you can file a trademark application with a trademark office of each country in which you are seeking protection, or you can use World Intellectual Property Organization or WIPOS Madrid system. In principle, 
A trademark registration will confer an exclusive right to the use of the registered trademark. This implies that the trademark can be exclusively used by its owner or licensed to another party for use in return for payment. Trademark rights are private rights and protection is enforced through courts. The term of trademark registration can vary, but is usually 10 years. It can be renewed indefinitely on payment of additional fees. Now let's move to the next major part of this lesson, which is the Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines. The Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines, or the Republic Act No. 8293, authored by the late Senator Raul S. Rocco, was signed into law on June 6, 1997, and took effect on January 1, 1998. It shall protect and secure the exclusive rights of scientists, inventors, artists, and other gifted citizens to their intellectual property and creations, particularly when beneficial to the people for such periods as provided in the Act. Intellectual Property Office of the Philippines is the government agency mandated to administer and implement state policies on intellectual property to strengthen the protection of intellectual property rights in the country. Coined as the DREAM Mandate, Intellectual Property Office of the Philippines performs the following functions to protect and secure the exclusive rights of scientists, inventors, artists, and other gifted citizens to their intellectual property and creations. First is development-oriented. The office shall promote the use of patent information as a tool for technological development. Second is regulatory. The office shall examine applications and grant patents or register utility models, industrial designs, trademarks, geographical indication, and integrated circuits. It shall help protect copyright by assisting in the facilitation of deposit of work with the National Library and Registered Technology Transfer Arrangements. Letter E stands for Enforcement. It shall undertake enforcement functions supported by concerned agencies such as the PNP, NBI, Customs, OMB, LGUs, etc. It shall conduct visits during reasonable hours to establishments and businesses engaging in activities violating intellectual property rights and provisions of the Intellectual Property Code based on report, information, or complaint received by the office. The fourth is adjudicatory. It shall hear and decide cases relating to violations of intellectual property rights, cancellations and oppositions to registration, compulsory licensing, and settle disputes involving technology transfer payments. The fifth mandate is policy making. It shall coordinate with relevant government agencies and the private sector efforts to formulate and implement plans and policies to strengthen the protection of intellectual property rights in the country. It shall also develop and implement strategies to promote and facilitate technology transfer. The Intellectual Property Office of the Philippines stands at the forefront of Filipino innovation while maintaining its delicate act of balancing the interests of the creator of intellectual property and of the public. Through proper and efficient creation, protection, utilization, and enforcement of intellectual property, the office prides itself as a key dynamic partner in the promotion of intellectual property as a strategic tool to influence economic growth in a creative and innovative Philippines. Let's talk about the logo of the office. The silver box represents the individual and combined human intellect, which is the source of all creative and innovative ideas. The arrow points upward and forward, signifying the collective progress of humankind. The two boxes in orange, the color of creativity, represent the Intellectual Property Office of the Philippines and its delicate role in balancing the interest of the intellectual property owner and that of the public. The viewer sees a tilted box standing on one of its corners. The instability brought about by the tilt depicts disruption, which creates new avenues for exploration and experimentation, invites enterprises to remain resilient amidst the blur of technological advancement, and challenges many an idea to become relevant or face obsolescence.